Congratulations, Gareth. Thank you. Um, I remember, I mean, I just saw John Holmes who organised Derby. You go back to Derby and you wrote so fantastically there. It's been some season for you. It has. I did. I don't know what to expect, you know, I went to Derby, just we'll see how it goes and it's it's kind of got better and better and then when I realised, you know, we're coming here, it was obviously it was a big a big aim, big opportunity, but I just didn't know what was going to happen, didn't know how it was going to go. Obviously the conditions today are so much different to anything we've ridden this year because it's been such a dry season. Yeah. So that was, um, that was testing for me, yeah. um, pushing me out of comfort zones, but it was really good. <laughs> And I, we saw the little tumble there at the uh, at the hurdle. I just couldn't get my one foot out, and then just uh, suddenly I was on the floor. Just literally, I think I'd got a load of mud in my cleat, yeah. and I just couldn't get my foot out, and I just went. But you just jump up and carry on. But when you're out front, there is it is it hard to to keep steady, keep keep calm? Um, I felt like I kept pretty pretty calm. I knew I had a gap. Yeah. But that's the reason I like to have a gap. If, if I have an accident or a um, technical problem, you know, a mechanical problem with the bike, I like to feel like I've got a bit of uh, a bit of room, really. Yeah. Now we woke up this morning with a heavy rain falling. Um, the bike doesn't look too bad. Just no changes. No, no, nothing at all. Just kept going. This is the bike I love, so just kept on going, and um, yeah, just it seemed to be fine. I think it, all the mud was just coming off on all the other bits in the road and things. So yeah. And winning a world title, a Masters world title, but nevertheless, rainbow bands. How sweet is that? Really sweet. <laughs> really sweet. Really, really pleased. Because the national trophy is one thing, but it it's, just, so it's the world's though, isn't it? I mean, I'm really pleased with how the national trophy has been going but this was the big one this is the one that everybody wants to win it you get a jersey for the year don't you and once you've got it you've got it and finally you had a great career back in back in the back in the day 2000 yeah before children <laughs> um, did you realize that your, your, your talent and your form and everything else from those days would carry through to now never I, I mean you wouldn't have got me anywhere near cyclocross in those days I was a time trialist like straight out round around about straight back again this just scared me absolutely scared me I remember Dave Mellor tried to do a bit of cyclocross once with us I couldn't do it I was rubbish absolutely rubbish so that's why I say I'm really really shocked really pleased totally out of my comfort zone but really challenging really good fun and I, I've seen the, the, uh, the backing that you've got from, from Meg and Magnus <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've had some lovely texts off them last night, off Meg, off Maggie, off Zoe, Zoe sent me a text message, so... <laughs> and this person's helped me! Are you alright? How do you do it? <laughs>